Finally, I just wanted to do this video real quick. Fuck that light's burning. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to do this video real quick because I was, you know, just having a little think about things. And, um, you know, the last fucking thing that, the last person that I want to come off as is like the, the person that stands up at every AA meeting. Oh, yes, no, you know, God saved me. You know, I'm not saying anything about God, but, you know, you know that person, like, oh, just all, you know, was it, was it, once was a gangster, and now is just totally against it, and, and, you know, call, shames out all the other ones that are still in that. That's the last fucking person I want to come off as. So that's what's prompted me to do this one, is, you know, as much as I fucking hate, me, you know, Oh, my, my time on meth has passed. My time on meth has passed. But in saying that, I don't, I don't, um, you know, I definitely don't fucking judge anyone that's on it. Because I don't know, and it's none of my fucking business, you know what I mean? But I don't know each and every person's circumstance. And at the end of the day, it's none of my fucking business to know it. But um, in saying that, like, I just wanted to say, and this is pretty, pretty, you know, big of me for me to say this, but hey, I'm just throwing it out there. Um, meth saved my life, straight up. And I know you're probably thinking, how the fuck did meth save your life? It saved it and it ruined it. It saved it and it ruined it, and I'm going to tell you how. I'll tell you how it, uh, it saved it first. It saved my life because with all that going on, had meth not provided me with the ability to block all of, you know, the death of my son, the, the loss, uh, you know, the, the, the fucking, my children going back to New Zealand, my husband going back to New Zealand, just... If meth didn't provide me with some kind of shield to to kind of block all that all those emotions that were, I would have probably most definitely have taken my own life. I most probably most definitely because you know I didn't have the support network. Mainly because nobody knew how to how to deal with that, how to deal with me. I didn't know how to deal with me. So I just think, you know, as much as I personally, you know, can't, you know, I'm not going to say I can't stand the drug. I'm just going to say my time on that drug has gone. That drug saved my fucking life, eh? Because, um, you know, and uh, if I had gone on to weed, you know, I never smoked weed. But if I had to smoke weed, weed wouldn't have provided me. There's nothing out there, unless heroin, but that would have just put my ass to sleep. You know what I mean? Methamphetamines provided me with that shield. So I was able to block off, you know, and how it's kind of turned out is I was able to block off all my reality until, you know, until it took four years, until now I'm sober and I can deal with my reality. I'm strong enough now to be able to deal with it and, and you know, and I'm, I'm not saying that, oh my God, I'm just, um, you know, I'm just a reformed, I'm just, just 100% change. No, fuck no. Every day is a fucking struggle, straight up. Every fucking day is a struggle. And, uh, you know, and now I'm going to say how meth did ruin my, it's because it worked too good. So just like I said, it saved my life, it built that, that shield, and ultimately that shield is what ruined my life too, because it shielded me from having that, um, feeling that emotion that I needed to be by my children in New Zealand. It, it kind of was like, you know, um, it gave me the ability to grab all those, everything that I was feeling, everything, you know, the loss of my son, just everything, grab it all and put it into a cupboard and lock that door. That's what it gave me the ability to do, to lock that door. But in the same breath, 
it also kept me that fucking busy that my mind was just that cooked that I started to forget that that cupboard even existed. Do you know what I mean? And that's the evil of it. <clears throat> it's evil because it's good and it's good because it's fucking evil. So the thing that it does provide you, you know what I mean? And that saved my life because I most definitely would have taken my life. Because I could not, I, I just, fucking hell, I, I can't even express it because I just, you know, everyone used to always say to me, fuck, and now you're doing awesome, Nicola, you're dealing with, you know, everything that you're going through, you're dealing with it really well. And I used to turn around, fucking eyes on high beam, and I used to be like, bro, the only way I'm dealing with it is by not dealing with it. Do you know what I mean? But then I, it, you know, Somebody said to me, just remember, Nicola, every day that passes is another day that you're not with your children. And that started to fucking play on my mind. You know, every day that I was sitting in a fucking hotel, you know, cooked out of my fucking brains, and I'd be sitting there on my own, and I'm thinking, fucking hell, that's another day gone that my kids don't see their mum. The next day, you know, fucking out, hustling out, hustling, sitting in a fucking somewhere, wherever, having a fucking blaze, and I'm thinking, fucking hell, that's another day that my kids haven't seen their mum. It's fucked, man, it's fucked. But, you know, it's such a tug of war kind of thing, because in the same thing, I'm thinking, but, you know, it, I was like that for four years, but had I not had that, I would have been gone four years ago, most probably. So it's, it's fucked, eh? It's fucked. It's fucked. But I just had to say that. So I don't want to come off like the type of person like, oh, I'm clean now. I got off drugs. Oh, you know, oh, how disgusting. Fuck off. I'm, no, nah, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. So, you know, and it's, you know, like I said, it took for me to fucking go to jail. And I tried a few times to get off it when I was out. Nah, it took for me to be picked up taken and put somewhere where I had no contacts. I had no contacts. I'm, I mean, I, I was in a city where I didn't even know fucking, you know, I had that much people. So I couldn't get it, you know what I mean? And I get put in the middle of jail and it took for, for that to happen for me to fucking, you know what I mean? Because out here at my own, if I was still in Perth, and I wasn't in jail, and I was trying to give up, nah, not going to happen, not going to happen, no way, so, yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, I'm not fucking downing anyone that is on it, I totally, totally fucking understand, and I totally understand that it's such a fucking war, you know, and, uh, in this, you know, just because I'm, you know, I also want to say that I'm not condoning it, like you you guys have seen, I, I lost everything from that drug. But without that drug, I would have lost my life. You know? So I just wanted to, you know, bring that to the table. <laughs>